Ellie, no. If uh, if you've got a six four hand with a six card club suit and a four card major, OCP opens this with three clubs um, because the three club opening shows exactly that shape with 11 to 15 points. If you've got the sort of hand that North has here with four card diamonds and six card clubs, then by all means open it two clubs because you've got the six card club suit. So the only six four hands that you don't open with two clubs are um, hands with four card diamonds. Sorry, the only the only six four hands that you you don't open with two clubs. <laughs> yes, that's right, Roger. I was just going to come to that. There there are if you've got a a four six hand with a four card major and three cards in the other major, then we're we're back to opening it two clubs. But any other four six hand with a four card major. Uh, we open with three clubs rather than two clubs. But four card diamonds and six card clubs is just a two club opener. Any other questions on the requirements? The main thing to bear in mind is, is that um, the club seat does need to be fairly reasonable because, um, as you'll see in a minute, responders options for uh, bidding when they have an essentially weakish hand with uh, no good support for clubs are very limited really unless they've got a five or preferably a six card major um, and very poor support or no tolerance rather for clubs uh, they'll almost certainly pass with any naught to nine high card point hand the only time they might um, try and do something is if they've got both majors and a bare minimum tolerance for clubs, in which case they might bid two diamonds, hoping to find a 4-4 fit in a major. But it's got to be, they'll have to be reasonably good, because if uh, opener rebids um, two no trumps or three clubs over two diamonds, they're going to have to play in three clubs rather than two clubs. OK, let's look at uh, some of the responses. Um, typical sort of average south hand here um, they've actually got a fairly nice nine count but the way that the two club responses are structured uh, there's actually very little that south can do here and in practice they would just pass this bearing in mind that opener has got a maximum of uh, a 15 count um, they don't really have anything South doesn't really have any options for bidding anything here. Um, yes, it's possible that North might have a four-card heart suit, but South, with this 5-3-3-2 nine count, can't afford to try and find out. My claim button has disappeared. That's a bit strange. Sorry, Roger, I'm not going to be able to claim this. Ah, oh, maybe. Maybe. Outrageous, as I can't claim before the opening lead's been made. <coughs> 
So we'll come to the two diamond relay in a bit. Um, we'll look at the non-forcing responses first. Uh, and basically there are four of those. As I said at the start, um, the main emphasis over the two club opening is actually uh, is often to try and play somewhere else, i.e. in a 4-4 major fit or in no trumps. Um, because Open has promised a reasonably good um, club suit, uh, which with a, a reasonable fit in responder's hand might be good for six tricks. So trying to get to quite a thin three no trumps is often um, the way that we're going, as you'll see when we get to the two diamond inquiry. Uh, or we look for a 4-4 fit. But we're quite happy to play this in clubs, and as I said, if, if responders has got a weak hand, very often you will just end up playing in two clubs. <coughs> okay, so essentially... Over two clubs, two hearts and two spades are rescues. Although I've said that you can do it with a five card suit. Really uh, better if you reserve it for six card suits. Um, and uh, it's definitely promising no tolerance for clubs. If you have got tolerance or even support for clubs, don't use the two heart and two spade responses because... Um, you could be swapping a 6-3 fit in clubs for a 6-1 or even a 6-0 fit in two hearts and two spades. Um, you've no guarantee that uh, that opener will have support for your major. So they are definitely rescues when you, you absolutely cannot tolerate. Really, singleton or void in clubs is uh, the general rule. And again, never more than 10 points. If you've got an 11 count, don't use the two heart and two spade rescues because uh, it is rare that um, opener will bid anything over those and you could well end up missing a game. Name me. Oh. <laughs> ben. <laughs> Um, definition for tolerance um, a tolerance is a small doubleton or better um, doubleton honour is, is a good tolerance support is three small or three to an honour ok Sonia like I said no tolerance is, is a singleton or void no trump response is fairly rare I have to say um, and I wouldn't normally do it with a 12 count with a 12 count I would normally be bidding two diamonds um, and as I've said there I wouldn't normally um, do it with a four card major uh, um, with a four card major I would normally bid uh, two diamonds rather than two no trumps if I had a balanced 11 certainly a balanced 12 I'd be bidding two diamonds bearing in mind what I said earlier that, that the emphasis is trying to get to three no trumps uh, if you've got a balanced 12 count um, 
with or without a four card major, better to go via two diamonds. Um, if you've got a a naught to nine count, um, you'll very often pass, unless you've got a six card major and no tolerance for clubs. Um, with eight or nine, you might bid three clubs if you've got good club support and some shape. Um, but your your options with a weak hand are fairly limited. Uh, Well, it, uh, does that answer your question? Two clubs, pass, pass. Possibly, but, but you've no safe way of getting there. Well, it, the, there's... Um, the precision two club opener is, is a little bit of a blunt instrument. Um, you know, responder has to judge. Um, what to do if you've got a, a good fit for clubs and a nine count you could bid three clubs and uh, if opener is maximum they'll try and reach three no trumps on the basis of the known club fit especially if they've got six of them um, so they'll start bidding stops upwards if they're lower range they're going to pass it and and you know that you're not missing anything But if you haven't got, if you've got a nine count without a good fit for clubs, uh, you've no options here, unless you've got a six card major. You can't safely bid anything because most of the. But you, what I'm saying is that there's no safe way that you can do it. If I had both majors, and and you know, a reasonable tolerance or, or fit for clubs and a, perhaps a diamond shortage, now I might bid two diamonds in the hope that partner's got a four-card major and then I could subside in three clubs if they don't. But that's, you know, a very specific hand. Yes, you could you could bid three clubs there, you could bid two diamonds, depending on your strength. I, w I don't want to start persuading you to start using two diamonds, the two diamond forcing inquiry, indiscriminately on weak hands that, that don't qualify for it. As you get to know, uh, you know, and feel your way with the two clubs opening, um, you will start to figure out that there are some times when you can afford to do it. Uh, and sometimes when it's better just to make a non-forcing response. The point being that over the two clubs, two diamonds inquiry, there are some responses that are up at the four level. And so, you know, you could end up um, being forced to play at a much higher level than you were anticipating. Um, there's a lot of responses available to opener, uh, of rebids available to opener over the two diamond inquiry. Um, which can end up forcing you to at least the four level. So if you've got an essentially weak hand, um, 
uh, you're, you're normally better off making one of the non-forcing responses. Okay. Any more questions before we move on? So let me just explain that. If you're playing OCP, after two clubs, two diamonds, you would always bid two hearts or two spades um, with a four-card major where you don't have a three-card holding in the other major. In other words, you're either 5-4-2-2 or 5-4-3-1 with a singleton in the other major. If you are maximum with three four one five shape then you would bid three spades over two diamonds to show exactly that shape if you start off bidding two hearts and then over the further relay of three diamonds if it comes you then bid three spades then that's a maximum range hand whereas if you bid three spades immediately over two diamonds then that's a maximum hand with four three one five shape whereas if you bid two spades and then over three diamonds you bid three hearts that's the lower range hand of that shape because now you can potentially stop at the three level if responders got better support for hearts than they have for spades similarly if you bid two hearts and then rebid three spades, that's the maximum hand with three, four, one, five shape. Whereas if you go straight to three hearts over two diamonds, that's the lower range hand with three, four, one, five shape. Have a look at what the website says if you if you're um, confused by that. It takes a little bit of time to get your head around it. The reason is that the two diamonds forcing inquiry and the further inquiry don't automatically guarantee that responder is agreeing openers four card major. And so if South, for example, had a stronger hand than they do here, 
they might bid two diamonds over two clubs and if north bid two spades they might bid three diamonds to find out a little bit more about opener's shape and if opener showed 4315 with a singleton diamond and three card heart then south would probably want to play in four hearts rather than four spades but they're only going to find that out if they make the second inquiry um, so there's no guarantee that that the further inquiry agrees openers four card major if they've shown one so you can play that but OCP doesn't and similarly you can to start with just play that over two clubs two diamonds two hearts and two spades are lower range and three hearts and three spades are upper range but like I said OCP does play that more complicated method and you're better off getting your head around that eventually Okay, so over two clubs, two diamonds, and a rebid of two of a major, ultimately, once we start using asking bids, an immediate bid of three of the other major is agreeing opener's major and is an asking bid eater. Um, and looking for a slam. But uh, uh, we will revisit two clubs um, when we've covered those asking bids. Um, just to cement that so you don't have to worry about that for now okay let's have a few example hands before I go any further um, just to emphasize some of the things that I've said so far um, for example this east hand if you look does not qualify for a two club opening because it's only got a five card club suit and it doesn't have a four card major so four card diamonds and five card clubs are open with one diamond you just bid two two of the major Ellie so over two clubs two diamonds you just bid two of your major if you don't have always no matter what your range unless you're going to play said that simple minimum maximum um, method that I said you could do to start with okay Yes, you just bid. If you've got, say, three card diamonds and a four card major, you just bid two, two of your major. It's, it's, you know, the, 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 the three level, the immediate three level major responses are, are actually not nearly as common as you might think. Um, almost always, uh, opener just ends up bidding two of their major. You know, the requirements for the two clubs, two diamonds, three hearts, and two clubs, two diamonds, three spades are very, very specific. Um, you know, it's only 4315 or 3415 shape. And uh, a maximum hand if you have four card spades, or, or a minimum hand if you've got four card hearts. So don't worry about opening <coughs> a hand.
and with uh, one diamond. Um, the one diamond opening doesn't promise diamonds, but if you rebid two clubs, you will normally have a hand that has four card diamonds and five card clubs. There are exceptions, but uh, we'll come to those when we when we cover one diamond next week. Similarly, the south hand here does not qualify for two clubs because he's got uh, six card clubs and a four card major. So this hand we would open with three clubs. Responses can't cater for every single four to six shape. There's just too many. And the idea of these forcing inquiry sequences, especially where the further inquiry is used, is really to try and nail down opener's uh, exact distribution um, as much as possible. So if you are, if you're four, three, naught, six with four, three in the majors, then you're back to opening it two clubs. If you look on the website, you will see it all explained there. Okay. So, no matter how good they are, unless they've got decent support for responders major, um, and this is why you should never do it with as much as, certainly as much as an 11 count. In fact, I would very rarely even do a rescue with a 10 count because the possibility of missing um, a game in your major is now too great. So up to about a 9 count. I would say um, certainly the eight count that uh, East has here is absolutely perfect. So even though West is nearly a maximum here and they have got a tolerance for uh, East's hearts, um, they're just going to pass two hearts because East could be much weaker than this. Um, That's right, Roger. Yes. Um, any other any other four six shape with a four card major and six card clubs are opened with three clubs. Okay. I think we cover that in a bit more detail when we actually look at the three club opening. <coughs> Okay, so um, let's look at the further inquiry now when uh, opener is shown a four card major at the two level. So you're not promising a stop if you rebid, um, if it goes two clubs, two diamonds, two hearts, three diamonds. If you bid uh, three of your major or three of the other major, you're not promising a stop there in diamonds or the other major. You're simply showing shape. And similarly, 2245 um, shape would just be rebid three no trumps. Um, usually, I did say before that it doesn't guarantee, but usually when the three card, the three diamond further relay is used over two clubs, two diamonds, two hearts, or two clubs, two diamonds, two spades, um, usually. Uh, responder is either going to end up agreeing the major or clubs or bidding in no trumps. Um, 
it is it is possible that they will end up agreeing the other major if you show a three card fragment there um, but that's the exception rather than the rule but there is no guarantee as I said before uh, responder is totally in charge of the hand opener is showing their shape and responder will then decide where to play So this is the reason if you um, if you jump to three hearts over two diamonds you're showing a lower range hand with three four one five whereas if you bid two hearts and over three diamonds you bid three spades that's showing the maximum hand because if you bid three hearts immediately um, responder if they're pushing to bid two diamonds and don't really want to play in game um, uh, has the option of passing three hearts or just converting to three spades whereas if it's gone two clubs two diamonds two hearts three diamonds three spades if they want to play in hearts they've got to play at the four level so that's the reason why we do it okay um, any questions on um, uh, the four card major responses to two clubs two diamonds <coughs> okay I'll just sh show you an example hand of that um, I mean, West might just bid four spades here. Um, but if they decide to use the further inquiry, they would bid three diamonds. So this sequence specifically shows nobody's asking anything. This is just part of the lesson, Charlene. Um, so this is this is specifically showing uh, a heart singleton and three card diamonds if opener bid three hearts here then that would be um, the lower range hand with uh, four card spades and three card hearts and if they bid three no trumps over three diamonds that would be showing four two two five shape The reason why why West might bid three diamonds there is just in case East is four three naught six, um, and a maximum you might possibly have a slam on, um, but it's not very likely with no fitting clubs. Um, Like I said, it wouldn't be wrong for West just to bid four spades over two spades.
Okay, any questions before we start looking at some of the other responses over two diamonds? Yes, because you're in charge of the auction. If you use, if it goes two clubs, two diamonds, Walid, you are totally the captain of the hand here. Um, and and if you end up putting, as long as you can justify the two diamond inquiry and the three diamond further inquiry, if you think you know where you're going and you've got a sensible uh, rebid or a sensible place to play, depending on. Uh, what opener bids over the three diamonds further inquiry then that's fine um, you know you're in charge of the auction so you have to ultimately be able to justify to your partner why you've bid two diamonds and then why you've bid three diamonds if there was a better method um, and you could safely just bid you know for example three no trumps over two hearts or two spades um, you know, there's, there's, it's not worth using the three diamond inquiry unless you really need to know, which means really that you have a fairly good idea where the bidding is heading when you use the three diamond inquiry. You might change your mind, but you must have uh, a sensible resting spot in, in mind if you use that further inquiry. Bearing in mind that two clubs, two diamonds is not game forcing. <coughs> It's encouraging and it's not often that you will end up, um, you will often end up playing in game, but there's no guarantee and, and it's not of itself game forcing. The three diamonds further inquiry effectively is game forcing. Um, it's not actually game forcing, but it is effectively. Any other questions? Okay, so looking here two clubs two diamonds two no trumps we're now getting away from hands with a four card major these are six card club suits with two suits outside stopped as you'll see in a minute three clubs over two diamonds is a six card club suit with only one outside suit stopped <coughs> um, but just concentrating on two no trumps first uh, over two clubs, two diamonds, two no trumps. Three clubs is 100% to play. Uh, this may be a hand where um, responder was cheating slightly, hoping that partner had a four card major. And when they don't, and they have got six card clubs, they're just going to subside in three clubs. Um, the three diamonds, there's a further inquiry over two clubs, two diamonds, two no trumps. The three diamonds effectively asks which two suits um, opener can stop. And they show that by bidding the suit that they can't stop. <coughs> I think I've got an example hand of this. Just bear with me a second. Yes. So we look at the south hand here. We're going to open this two clubs. Um, North's got a nice hand here. Um, you know, you might even you might even want to try and try for uh, six clubs here.
so this is this is asking which suits effectively which suit south has but they as i said they show it by bidding the suit that they can't stop and three no trumps here uh is denying a diamond is showing that they don't have a diamond stops and they do have stops in both majors oops sorry um Now, if uh, South had shown a lack of a stop in one of the majors, I'm fairly sure that North would pass here. Um, they're not worried about, particularly about making three no trumps with a single a major suit singleton in the South hand. <coughs> However, when uh, South is showing no stop in uh, diamonds. Now, three no trumps is probably not the best resting spot. Uh, they don't really want to play in four hearts or four spades, although that's a possibility. But given that South has got six card clubs and stops in both majors, it's likely that they've got a diamond shortage. And certainly, we now treat uh, the South hand as having a diamond shortage. So if we were playing OCP with asking bids, uh, we would now be bidding um, four diamonds with the North hand, which we'll be finding about, about uh, how good controls, South's controls are. Um, an ace is worth two controls and a king is worth one control. We use step responses of 0 to 2, 3, 4, 5 here. Um, so five clubs would show five controls, um, which from North's point of view is almost certainly going to be the ace of spades and the ace king of clubs. Um, absolutely, it is a stop. It is a stop, Ellie. If somebody plays the ace and then somebody else plays the king, the queen is going to win the third trick in the suit. That's all that a stop is promising. You're not absolutely guaranteeing that that queen will always, under any circumstances, take a trick. That's not what a stop is. But for the purposes of, of bidding, you're, you've got a stop in heart. If partner's got a singleton heart, they're not going to bid three no trumps on the basis that you've got a stop in hearts. But if they've got, say, um, King XX or even Jack XX, now they might consider playing in three no trumps on the basis that, that your stop plus their bit of help is going to be enough. So here, um, over the three diamonds further inquiry, North did change their mind. With their nice 16 count, um, they've decided to push on to six clubs. Um, if uh, South had only shown four controls, they'd probably have uh, passed or just converted to five clubs. But with five controls opposite and the probability of of a shortage in diamonds um, North knows that South has the Queen of Hearts here and he can be fairly sure that South has the Ace of Spades and the Ace King of Clubs because of the strictures on um, the quality of the club suit I suppose it's possible that they'd have 
the ace king of spades and ace jack 10 to 6 clubs possibly uh, but either way the hand seems to be fitting too well not to play in 6 clubs Okay, so just going back to the uh, the further inquiry after two clubs, two diamonds, two no trumps. <coughs> so with two clubs, two diamonds, two no trumps, three diamonds, asking which suit. Uh, three hearts denies a heart stop. Three spades denies a spade stop. And three no trumps shows no diamond stop. Um... So as you can see, it's very constrained bidding, but actually fairly simple. Um, any questions before we move on? Yes, again... Uh, We'll see some examples of that a bit later on, Sanya. But yeah, I'm totally invitational. If you if it goes two clubs, two diamonds, two of a major, three of that major, it's just invitational. So uh, Responder probably has about uh, 11 or 12 with support for the major. Um, if Responder bids one of the rescues, i.e. two clubs, two hearts, or two clubs, two spades, and it turns out that opener's got four card support for it, or even three card support with a singleton eight elsewhere and a maximum hand, then they can invite. Um, and as I said, we'll, we'll see some examples of that in the uh, the practice hands later on, I think. Yeah, I'm... Um, Not quite sure what you mean, Walid. You, do you mean no stops outside the club suit? Is that what you mean? Um, okay. The only thing I can suggest is is that you bid three clubs. You either you either don't open two clubs. You just pass and treat it as a weak hand. The point being that almost by definition. Uh, you're likely to have an 11 count um, with ace, king, queen, jack of clubs and a jack outside. So you either pass initially and then come in with a two clubs overcall. <coughs> or, you know, if you've got, say, jack to three, you show that as a stop and, uh, uh, and just hope that it's good enough, given that you have got six solid club tricks. Um... If it goes two clubs, two diamonds, uh, the likelihood is is that responder's going to have about a 12 count at least. So with your six card club tricks, you will be unlucky if ops can uh, run five tricks in the suit where you've got, say, jack XX. But if you've got a holding like, you know, queen X in a suit, I'm not sure I would try that. I've been more likely to pass initially and then come in with two clubs. Okay? Okay, so this time over two clubs, two diamonds, three clubs. If responder makes the three diamonds further inquiry, now opener shows the suit, the one suit that they can stop. And again, three no trumps promises a diamond stop. Um, 
So it's very similar, but just reversed. So over two no trumps, they, they show the suit that they can't stop because they can only show one suit over three diamonds. And uh, over three clubs, three diamonds, they show the suit that they can stop. So here's the forcing inquiry. So six card clubs, only one suit outside stopped. Okay, so uh, any questions on the 2 no trump rebid by opener or the 3 club rebid by opener? Don't forget. Well, he's just going to convert into 4 clubs here. Or he might try 4 spades. You know, it's perfectly acceptable to end up playing an Emotion fit. The trouble comes when East has got exactly King X in spades. You know, you don't really want to, to, uh, and that is a stop, but you don't really want to play in four spades on that. So probably uh, on this hand, if it went three spades over um, over three diamonds um, West might either bid four clubs uh, which would be invitational still or they might chance their arm with four spades and if East had King X they might just convert to five clubs okay any other questions about the two no trump rebid or the three club rebid? Again, these these are sequences where you'll you'll find your way. Okay, so as I've said there, um, we've covered all of the rebids over two clubs, two diamonds, um, apart from. Uh, the only two that we haven't yet covered are three no trumps and three diamonds. We use three diamonds to show four four naught five shape exactly. In other words, two four card majors and five card clubs. This hand comes up about once every 50 years. Um, but uh, if you want to try a different, um, there's nothing that says that you have to use it for four four naught five shapes. OCP does. Um, <coughs> uh, and continuations are totally natural. Okay, so as I said there, the three no trump rebid um, is is almost guaranteed to be a maximum hand. Um, they're also pretty much guaranteed to be six three two two shape. Uh, 
the only thing to bear in mind is that the, the club suit may not be first class here. Um, um, Alpha is available over two clubs. You can bid two clubs, three diamonds, um, three hearts or three spades. Uh, the thing is, you'll have seen, Ellie, that with the uh, the two diamond inquiry and the three diamond further inquiry, you do end up getting uh, a fairly precise idea of Opener's exact distribution. Um, and uh, consequently, it's it's very often the case that even with a um, a strong suit of your own uh, you would still go through diamonds because you're going to find out the only trouble is is that it's it's impossible unless you use alpha to show a diamond suit you can end up playing in a diamond suit if it goes two clubs two diamonds two hearts three diamonds three hearts which shows three card diamonds and a singleton spade uh, you might now bid five diamonds or even six diamonds. Um, so you can end up playing in diamonds, but but you can't just keep on bidding diamonds and end up showing diamonds because the two diamonds is an inquiry and the three diamond rebid is an inquiry. It's not saying anything about your diamonds. Um, so yes, alpha is available, uh, relatively rare most most hands even strong game going hands and strong single suited hands would tend to go via the two diamond inquiry but if you've got a big two suitor then you know that's 16 plus then by all means use alpha okay all right ellie does that answer your question Okay, let's have a quick look at continuations. <coughs> so, okay, so this covers what I was saying before about um, where you end up showing a stop in a suit, even if it's a matter of denying one somewhere else. That, that for example, if you imply a stop in a major... Um, a responder may well have a six card major in that major and although the major has never been mentioned as a potential trump suit um, they might opt to play in that major even if it's possible you've only got king x in it if they've got ace queen to six um, if you've promised to stop there they know you've got at least a good tolerance if not actual active support for it um, this goes back to what I was saying about uh, uh, Responder being totally the captain of the hand. So they ask the questions, Opener shows their distribution or their stops, but Responder decides where to play. So over the response to the three diamond relay, over any of what we've seen, whether it's a, a two heart or two spade rebid by Opener, or any of the other rebids by opener if the three diamond relay is used then unless responder makes that beta ask in a known short suit or a suit where um, opener is denied a stop uh, then responder will normally set the final contract over the response to the three diamond relay And I think we'll we'll see a couple of examples of that in the uh, the practice hands a bit later on.
Okay, so uh, if if responder bids four clubs over any immediately over any response to the two diamonds forcing relay, then it's gamma in clubs. Um, so if you've got a, a big hand with with club support, then bid two clubs, two diamonds, and over anything that responder bids four clubs is now asking in clubs and you've got an established asking bid sequence again um, that's for later on in the series when we've actually covered gamma and the other asking bids um, if if it goes two clubs two diamonds three clubs and then the three diamonds further re further relay then four clubs over openers rebid there is just invitational in clubs on the basis that two clubs two diamonds and then three diamonds is always showing a decent hand um, it's not likely even that you've got an absolutely bare 12 count it's possible uh, but you have got at least a, a 12 count if you use the the three diamonds further relay um, so uh, now four clubs is at least invitational in clubs it's not forcing but it's at least invitational but if opener rebids two no trumps over two diamonds um, and three diamonds is used uh, then four clubs is now forcing because of again because of that three diamond relay so at the bottom there numbers four and five um, shows why uh, you shouldn't abuse that two diamonds inquiry with just any weak hand with four card major because you could end up at the four level <coughs> um, particularly uh, so don't don't abuse that um, Particularly, don't abuse the three diamond relay if you've got a weakish, you know, 11 count. You can just end up getting too high. Okay, at the moment you won't you won't have you won't have beta in your arsenal if you're new to OCP. Um, but if um, if opener ends up showing a shortage, uh, you could use a bit of that short suit as Roman key card for the time being while you're not um, using asking bids. But the sooner that you, you end up learning beta, the easier it will be because beta is um, available in almost any sequence potentially. Uh, and there are lots of entry points for it specifically uh, as you've seen today um, again if you're interested in learning beta look it up on the website uh, and it ex explains what the rules are the underlying rules to do with its um, to do with its use okay any questions about um, those things about the continuations or about two clubs two diamonds three diamonds showing four four naught five or two clubs two diamonds three no trumps showing a maximum hand with all three suits stopped outside clubs okay let's have a quick look at interference
Okay, so if it goes two clubs double, then we use redouble as the forcing inquiry. And over two clubs and then a two level overcall, um, we play double as negative and effectively it takes the, pace, the place of the two diamonds forcing inquiry. Um, certainly opener rebids uh, as much as they can as they would if that two diamond forcing inquiry had been made. Uh, if it goes two clubs, two hearts, double, bearing in mind that, that um, we're at the two level, so a negative double is showing pretty reasonable values. Um, certainly, I would suggest a 10 or an 11 count. So if opener's got four card holding in op suit, um, they could easily pass for penalties, but it does depend to some extent on the vulnerability. Uh, if, they, if they've got a maximum hand and it's green versus red, then I would pass for penalties. But if it's red versus green, you might consider bidding three no trumps on the basis of your four card holding in op suit, particularly if it's a major. <coughs> So if it goes two clubs double, um, sorry, no, not two clubs, uh, two clubs, two hearts, um, or two clubs, two spades over call, passed back to opener, then a double by opener almost certainly is going to be with four cards in the other major. Um, but it's it's a takeout double, but pretty much for certain, opener will have four cards in the other major. Okay, I mentioned before that two clubs double redouble is the forcing relay. It therefore follows that two clubs double two diamonds is not the forcing relay. But now it's fundamentally. Uh, a bid that's not available to you without the double um, but it does allow you to rescue partner into diamonds as well as the majors so this is a hand with no tolerance for clubs in other words um, there's an appreciable chance of that double being passed out for penalties if uh, Opener's right-hand opponent's got long clubs. Um, so you could bid two diamonds or two hearts or two spades all as rescues. But the thing to remember is that they are still rescues. The fact that the takeout double has been made um, doesn't change their character at all. It just gives you an extra bid of two diamonds that you wouldn't have had available to you normally but bear in mind please that if you've just got a weak hand with no tolerance for clubs you don't normally need to bid anything because it's unlikely uh, that this double will get passed out for penalties when uh, opener might be sat there with ace king to six clubs and a maximum hand it's not very likely that it's going to get passed out Okay, um, again, this is anticipating something that comes quite a bit later in the series. Um, we play Lebensol over any competitive sequence in OCP. Uh, so if it goes two clubs and then any two level overcall, um, two diamonds, two hearts, or two spades, two no trumps is forcing a rebid of three clubs uh, with normal continuations. So if... Uh, You've just got a weak hand that wants to support clubs. You could bid two no trumps and then pass three clubs by partner. 
or if you uh, um, if you bid a lower ranking suit than ops uh, like two clubs two hearts two no trumps three clubs three diamonds um, over a two heart overcall then that would be just competitive uh, but if it's a higher ranking suit than ops it would definitely be invitational so the normal things if you if you if you don't play competitive 11 sol at all I wouldn't worry too much about those sorts of sequences um, the main thing is that if it goes two clubs and then an overcall at the two level two no trumps is not sort of 11 to 12 balanced you right, Naomi? Okay, so again, competitive level sold does change things around slightly here. Um, but basically, over overcalls, apart from the entry points for the forcing inquiry that I've mentioned already, i.e. negative doubles by, uh, or negative redoubles even by responder, um, uh, it's all pretty much natural and non-forcing. Okay, so um, if we get, say, a sequence like two clubs and then an overcall in the red suit at the two level, now two hearts or two spades is no longer the weak rescue because you've no need to bid anything. So now this is a much more constructive bid um, and you probably will have a reasonable tolerance for clubs uh, and a hand worth competing because over the two level overcall as opposed to the double you don't have to bid anything. You certainly don't need to rescue partner when they've overcalled if you've got no tolerance for clubs. Any questions? It's 11 to 12 balanced, normally without a four card major, worried. So two clubs, two no trumps is 11 to 12, but more commonly 11 points exactly balanced without a four card major. Normally, if you've got a 12 count, and particularly if you've got a 12 count with at least one four card major, I would tend to bid two diamonds rather than two no trumps. Two no trumps is, is um, said normally 11 or a poor 12 balanced um, so you will have at least a minimum tolerance for clubs. Uh, it's just in case opener is maximum. Um, they can bid three no trumps or start bidding suits upwards over uh, two no trumps if they think they've got a hole somewhere. So if it goes, for example, if it goes two clubs two no trumps, three diamonds, that would suggest an upper range hand but a shortage in one of the majors and it's just checking. So you're just bidding stops upwards now um, uh, just to make sure that you are covered um, for the purposes of playing in three no trumps. Okay, we've got half an hour left for some practice hands, so can I have four victims, please? Don't be shy. Time is money.
be nice to have some relative newbies here, but uh, I'll take anybody. Even if... Thank you, John. Any more for any more. Please don't be shy sitting, if, especially if you're new to OCP. As long as you've followed the lesson, trying these sorts of hands uh, is one of the best ways of cementing them in your head. One more, please. Come on, people are normally scrambling over themselves to, to play with John. Okay, just bear with me a second. Or Esther, for that matter. Um, I think probably not the right card, John. and get through these fairly quickly um, I don't mind intervention if it's utterly obvious, but uh, if it looks marginal, probably best just to leave it. Okay. Can we have a lead and a claim? Claim nine tricks, Ellie. Okay. So, uh, South's got quite a nice eight count. They've got a tolerance for clubs. But there's nothing they want to bid here. Um, so, just pass. Uh, even if East comes in with a takeout double over two clubs, um, South's just going to pass. In fact, they'll end up playing in South Spade suit, uh, East West potentially. Any questions? Did what? Nice one, John. You know where to point them. <laughs> get them to buy. The, get them to buy your book. Superb.
Way to go indeed. Okay. A lead please, Ali. Ooh, under leading an ace against a suit contract. Wow. That's not something you very often see in an unbid suit. Okay, so two clubs opening. Two heart rescue, singleton heart in the west hand, sorry, singleton club, and reasonable six card hearts. About a nine count, that's fine. Well done. Oh, that's cheating, John. Okay. I agree, you might decide to open this one club. But we're not going to get any practice on the two club sequences if you do. Oh, is it? Okay. It's worth considering with a 15 count. Um, I wouldn't normally do it with a 14 count, not unless you've got a lot better distribution than the south hand is, has here. Okay, um, lead away, Esther. Yes. I'm not sure I would bid four spades. Um, yeah. I might bid four spades with an absolute maximum and four card spades. I'm not sure I would uh, bid four spades with... John's hand here but I would certainly bid three spades over two spades if you think about it Ellie well okay but bear in mind South knows a fair amount about North's hand here um, they know that they've got a singleton or void in clubs, so South doesn't have a lot of wasted values there, and but has a good shot at uh, establishing their clubs by roughing. They've got good trump support. Um, they've got a shortage in hearts. So, I mean, four spades isn't unreasonable. Like I said, I would bid four spades if I had four card spade support. Um... Absolutely. You're making 12 tricks here, as it happens. But uh, uh, you don't want to be in six, obviously. Yeah, good point, John. Europe uh, are on their winter times this week, and... Uh, the OCP sessions are 
going to be an hour earlier if you're on the American continent from next week. So from from next Saturday, it's still at 9 p.m. UTC, but it's 9 p.m. in the UK and 4 p.m. in the US and Canada. Um, in New York, anyway. Uh, but uh, the clocks go back in America and Canada tonight. So the practice session times this week are also affected. True. Okay. Back in a minute. Sorry about that. Okay, well done. Uh, so two no trumps, about eleven, about eleven balanced, and uh, West has got no wish to disturb two no trumps. It's um, if they really had a, you know, say a shortage in a major, they might bid three clubs. Um, when uh, Responder doesn't have a four-card major, it's likely that they've got three-card club support. So three clubs is always a, a safe bolt hole if uh, opener really doesn't fancy two no trumps. And the next. Getting through these quite smartly. So again here, yeah. 
Alrighty, let's have a lead, uh, Esther. And claim... 11 tricks. Or whatever. Okay, I wouldn't say... Can you just claim, Ellie? And then everybody can see the hand. Okay, the only thing I would say here, I, I mean, I wouldn't say that five clubs is necessarily wrong, but uh, I, I think I would have bid it slightly differently um, as north. I think over three clubs, I would bid three diamonds um, and, and see if, if we've got the necessary stops for three no trumps before we... Uh, before we settle for five clubs. Um, so over three diamonds south would probably bid three hearts. Implying that they'd like a little bit of help in spades. And when south bids three hearts over three diamonds. North now has an easy five club bid. Whereas over three diamonds south might bid three no trumps. Um, in which case North would be best playing there. Okay, so <coughs> there's nothing wrong with bidding suits upwards over three, two clubs, three clubs. Um, but I wouldn't say that five clubs is wrong here. Um, it's just going to be a shame if South's got you know, king, queen, ten in spades, and three no trumps is a better spot. It may well be that, as here, diamonds was the only suit that, that South was worried about. Well, it's it's more two, three, two clubs, three clubs is as much preemptive as anything else but it is showing around about eight nine points um maybe even ten uh, the fact that that north is known to have five card clubs if not six card clubs um makes it makes it you know, it's a safe enough bid and it makes it much more difficult for West to come in with with spades. I think we have claimed this hand. If you can't see it, then... I thought we claimed already. It is claimed, I thought. Maybe try standing and sitting back down, Phil. Okay, I didn't mention this in the lesson, but uh, um, direct suit raises over two clubs, i.e. two clubs, three clubs, two clubs, two clubs, three clubs we covered. Two clubs, four clubs is totally preemptive. Um, so it's showing really good club support and shape, but not necessarily, uh, it, it's definitely showing a hand with absolutely no interest in three no trumps. Um, So two clubs, four clubs, and two clubs, five clubs are totally preemptive. Um, all right.
so Esther makes the bid that she uh, would have made over three da two diamonds if she can. So three clubs is just six card clubs with one suit outside stopped. Now you now you got a problem, potentially. Okay. Um, can we have a lead, please? Okay. Uh, claim eleven tricks. Well, Phil, I did try to point you in the right direction here. Um, two clubs, two diamonds is eleven plus. It's not a it's not a distributional six count. Yeah, two clubs, two diamonds is the wrong sequence here. A, it it makes it far too easy for north south to get into the bidding. Um, you're better off just bidding four clubs here, which is, which is preemptive and and essentially weak, but with really good club support and shape. So two clubs, four clubs, exactly describes your hand. And now, if uh, North South start getting involved in one of the red suits, it's fairly easy for. Um, for East to see the potential for a sacrifice, even at this vulnerability. And in fact, five clubs is making comfortably. Uh, in fact, you're making six clubs with one, one clubs. So you've shot yourself in the foot here slightly. Um, thing you have to bear in mind is, is that if you bid four clubs here then OCP says that that is gamma um, okay um, time for one more I think let me just find the right one. Try this one. You fallen asleep, Phil? Wimp. <laughs> uh, 
Um, it's an invitational raise in hearts, Phil. Try three, three diamonds, quite right. Okay, so this is a maximum range hand or upper range hand with exactly three, four, one, five shape. Okay, well done. Um, okay, claim... Um, Eleven or twelve tricks. Just claim, Phil. Okay, well done. Um, not. There's certainly a case for three diamonds here. Um, I would certainly bid three diamonds rather than three hearts. The other alternative is just to bid four hearts over two hearts with three bullets. Um, uh, four hearts certainly gives less information away to ops. Um, but you don't necessarily want to be in four hearts when... Um, West is two four two five. That's the case for bidding three diamonds, and when you find out about the si no six is not biddable, well it um, it it makes if you find the hearts and. Uh, and because the king of spades is on side, but um, you've got too many potential losers. And the, I mean, in, even if you get everything right, you've got a lot of work to do in a uh, fair amount of work to do in six hearts. Not every hand on which you can make 12 tricks is a hand that you actually ought to be in slam on. Sometimes you're making 12 tricks just because everything's right. Here, the king of clubs is wrong, but you can easily catch the queen of hearts. The hearts are behaving. Um, and the spade king is on side. That's the only reason you're making 12 tricks. But you might get the hearts wrong, in which case you're only going to make uh, 11 tricks. Okay. All right, guys, thanks for coming. Um, I think we'll leave it there. It certainly is, John. Um, so, one diamond next week. Uh, please don't forget the practices on Sunday and Thursday. Uh, really worth going to those. And we'll see you next week. Oh, also. Okay, night all. I'm going to sign off. Uh, I need to go and make my dinner.